So there's a lot going on today. Uh, yes. You're working on this, going to the to shuttery. We can look to the shuttery. Not last, just the other stuff. That's yeah. Yucky, it's been treated. Full so of nails, uh, yeah. It's not good for burning. And then we have the farmers on the back driveway. Yeah. Moving uh, the tree out of the way. Last week, we had two big storms blow through, taking down this massive tree. The farmers arrived to help take it away, and I assume this might take a couple of days. They cut the tree up, cleared it, and hauled the wood away in less than a day. I estimate this would have taken us four months, two days, and nine hours, excluding holidays, lunch breaks, and sick days. So this is all that's left. A bit of sawdust. And the driveway is clear. Look, he even scraped the driveway for us. We'll have to get this graveled someday. Yeah. But... It's just a mess, but it's nice that he did this. That tree, we need to do <laughs> Yeah, that tree is... It's only hanging on by a little bit. I that. know. I think we probably pull it with a rope. It's amazing what you can do with the right machinery. Yeah. He even moved all the stuff that was out here, Lincoln. Wow. So we basically told them that if they come and do the tree, they can they can take the, the wood, but he actually gave us some wood. A big pile of wood. More than we need. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any shortage of of wood, which is nice. Yep. We're lucky. Sure. And then we have someone in the LA working to cut up some of the stuff that we just don't have time to get to. Yeah. Our chateau sits on 40 acres. It's a lot of work, but we love it. We can be our worst critics, can't we? Welcome to my brain. My garden was a failure last year, which made me feel like a failure. Are we working too hard or not hard enough? Are the renovations taking too long? But who really cares? More fun content for our YouTube channel, right? Will we ever be fluent in French? Will Lincoln ever be able to explain quantum physics to me? That's a hard no, by the way. The laundry needs to be done. Dinner needs to be made. I need to take a chill pill. Does anyone know where I can get a prescription for some? We wanted to get things done today because uh, we're headed into, I think, a few more days of rain. So the more outdoor work we can get done, the better. So in the last video, I said that I had gotten you a new tractor. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show everybody? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> This is Lincoln's new tractor. I couldn't afford the real thing. So that would be a lot of money. I think this was about seven euro at, at the grocery store. Uh, yeah, we need a tractor like this, like the farmers have over there. Yeah. But this is our little tractor for now.
I've used the no dig method for all of our garden beds. Cardboard on top of grass or weeds, then layers of compost and soil. Plant your seeds or bulbs and voila, a garden appears. Be warned though, you'll still need to keep an eye on those weeds, every gardener's favorite task. In this segment my mic was dead and I don't really remember what I was yammering on about. I think it was the soil or how many bugs were out. I could have been discussing the scientific makeup of soil which I think is like five things. Maybe I was discussing world events or how I really wanted some sushi. We'll never know because my mic was dead. I'm not going to put any cardboard in this area uh, simply because it was previously a bed and the soil's really nice. So I'm just probably going to add a little bit of compost and then some soil, maybe a, a tiny bit of sand as well. This was a, a carrot bed, so there are probably still some carrots in there and I'm just going to leave them in. It's good for the soil. Any organic matter is, is good. I'm almost done, but still have a, a bit to go. I'm actually short a little bit of soil, but I can add some compost to this and uh, probably cover it this week and then I will be able to get the bulbs in and show you what I'm going to plant. Ayurveda. Dominic loves to roll in the straw, as you can tell. We just filled their barn up with straw. I had the wheelbarrow kind of in the doorway to keep him out, but he managed to get past it, came in, and rolled in the straw while I was in there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have seen that. So cute. It's so interesting, you know, when it's pouring rain, sometimes you just see them standing out in the field when they have a perfectly dry place to, yeah. to stay, and apparently that's just something some it donkeys do. Doesn't bother them. No. And it's tough, right? Yeah. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> I can see two kitties in the window on opposite sides of the chateau. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can get a shot of this. There's maple. And we'll zoom over. And there's olive. They've never met. And I don't think they will ever meet because Maple is such a stressed out kitty.
Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have something to say, leave us a comment.